Yui sign up sells out. A gripping heat of bugle bots, and if you bar with us, we'll get the news started. Welcome to this week in Robot Combat 2020. Hello, happy new year, and welcome to this week in Robot Combat. I'm so happy to be back. I decided to go early because just in the first day, on January the 1st, there was already so much news. So, without further ado, Let's crack right into it. And we're off with the first news story being there is a new BattleBots fight available to all over on their Facebook page. Yes, the BattleBots basement fights have been available to supporters only since the series finished. However, the supporters section isn't the only one who gets a lovely new fight. In fact, this is the second. Christmas had Nelly versus Shellshock, and now we have Hypershock versus Hydra. An excellent fight, not long, but still very entertaining, as you'd expect from any Hypershock or Hydra fight. Make sure you go and check it out over on the BattleBots Facebook page, because it's another fight, and you're not gonna want to miss it. Speaking of BattleBots, we have a new photo from Team Whiplash showing that they are building something and hoping for Series 5, so they have somewhere to compete. Exciting stuff on the horizon. We also have Yui signups that went up and then went down again. Yui is a Beatle event on the 16th of February, and in the first 90 minutes of signups being open, they had to shut them because all 48 places were filled. This is a huge testament to the popularity of the Beatles scene and the Bristol Bot Builders, so well done to them. A new podcast hit YouTube in the week. Two Mugs of Tea podcast stars Tom Brewster and Tim Rackers of Team Monsoon talking to roboteers about the more human side of being a roboteer, as well as some behind the scenes stuff that you may not know about how they got into the sport. In the first episode, the two have a very entertaining chat with Rory Mangles of Team Nuts, so make sure you go and check that out over on the Tom Brewster YouTube channel. And sticking with podcasts, Spinner Proof has a new podcast out, but this time on YouTube. It's almost like a YouTube event because they competed on BuggleBots, and we're going to talk about their performance a little bit later on. But the new episode of Spinner Proof, the only episode to come out on YouTube, be sure to check it out, subscribe to their channel, and also keep up to date on the Spinner Proof podcast on your favourite podcast app. Or, of course, you can always follow them on spinnerproof.com. After nearly a year of hard work, the Good Robotle team have finally released the BattleBots 2019 pack, and I've been playing it on my YouTube channel. So make sure you go and check out the Good Robotle YouTube channel for details of how to get the game. It is free. It is available now. You need to get it because it's good fun, and make sure you check out my videos, the third of which is coming possibly later today, if I can get it edited. Extreme Robots continues on YouTube as Cheltenham Episode 2 came out on Friday. If you missed it, make sure you go and catch up all the action from the final show of the year. And of course, don't forget Episode 3 should be coming out this Friday at 7pm. And if I've got that wrong, you'll hear about it on the World of Woodrow Facebook page. Or, you know, on the Extreme Robots social medias because they'll tell you when it actually comes out. Now, BuggleBots came back to our screens early December, and spoilers here for episode four. We had amazing battles, the first of which was between Daedalus and Claws 2. Daedalus struggled to start with, but eventually managed to swat Claws 2 out of the way and remove its battery in one fell swoop, an amazing attack. Then Hello there went up against Thunderchild and did more axe attacking than I don't think anybody actually thought they would, but were eventually pitted by the awesome pusher from America and um, split decision helped. We also had Annie are you okay from Ben from Team Panic going up against Two Berg Two Furious. Annie came at them like a smooth criminal and took out their wheels meaning that they were through to the heat semis. In the losers melee hello there got the high ground and um, yeah we yeeted uh, hence the name of the podcast I suppose. And in the heat of the moment an unfortunate bit of driving led Two Berg down into the pit and claws two through to the heat semis. In those heat semis, Daedalus spat itself out of the arena in the fight against Thunderchild, one not to miss, meaning that they are into the Redemption 10-way with all the losing heat semi-finalists. They're there with Annie Woke, who lost out in, I would say, a controversial judge's decision against Claws 2. A very close match and very entertaining. 
So the final of this heat, Clause 2 going up against Thunderchild. And unfortunately for Clause 2, they just didn't have what it takes to beat the American pusher. Thunderchild, the next heat finalist to join Splody Boy K2 and Sore Loser. And a brief look ahead to the next heat, the final heat in fact. Mini Spinny Mark II going up against Front Hinge Flipper Catalyst. Drizzle Returns going up against the new and improved Wee Woo. And Bourbon II going up against Jay. Some exciting fights and I know where I'm putting my money. Come on Drizzle. Lastly, Dave from Team Carbide is selling the bar from Series 10 of Robot Wars. This comes alongside a lot of other things being sold by Roboteers, including an Apollo jacket, a bit of uh, the bash from your own, all sorts of things on sale. If you want to get in on the action, the sale is not quite over on that Carbide bar, but I hope you've got some money on you, because that is a hefty price tag. The online auction concludes later today. And that just about wraps it up for this time. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a like. Do subscribe to the channel if you are new. We are very close to 900 subscribers now, which is mind-blowing. So, yeah, thank you all that have subscribed. And uh, if you haven't already, if you're new and watching this for the first time, please think about doing that because it means a lot to me. It's not actually for money. I don't want money. I just want to connect with the community more and get your perspective on things and, and your opinions so the sooner i can get to a thousand so i can do more community stuff the better cool right i shall see you all next week for more news unless you hear otherwise in which case uh i have been kidnapped and i'm being held against my will by some razor fanboys bye